Cool, because here with us now is mid midfielder for Los Angeles Galaxy, Robbie Rogers, who is fresh off his MLS Cup victory over the weekend. Happy Congratulations. Yeah, this is really great good. job. Uh, he's a little hoarse because he's been screaming right. a bit too much, yeah. and now he's on a book tour, Yeah, uh, which is perfect timing it is to lose your voice. Because exactly. uh, yeah. uh, he's out with a new book coming out to play, which is a fantastic read. And congratulations to you, not only for the fact that you get to have that MLS Champion Cup, uh, but you also have this great book that has just Thank come you. out, and you also get to be a role model. What do you think of that title about role model? Do you um, like that? I I'm always a little uncomfortable with it. Uh, it wasn't my intention when I came out and when I eventually went back to soccer. But um, I'm extremely happy that I'm being used that way, I guess. And did, you, did you feel like a free man once yeah. you came out? Yeah, especially... You know, talk, talk about the day before and the day after. Yeah, so I came out to my family a little over two years ago, um, and I was debating if I wanted to come out publicly or if I just wanted to hap let it happen organically. And for whatever reason, I still felt like I was being held back a little bit, so I posted a letter to social media, and, and it's actually what got me to write the book. It was the reaction from everyone. You know, I, was, I grew up in a very conservative Catholic family, and I grew up in the sports world. So how, like, how were your conservative Catholic parents? They were very supportive, very, very supportive. Right. From the second I told them, yeah. uh, obviously horrified and very scared to tell them, but from the second I told them, they just wanted to love me. And that uh, did that make uh, coming out publicly much easier because you knew you had your parents? Yeah, yeah I, I'm sure it did. I, I don't yeah. know how I would have reacted if it happened the other way. Yeah. But um, I was still afraid, and I turned off my phone and closed my laptop and was like, I don't want to know what happens, but it did make a difference. Have you heard from other players in your sport that have said, yeah. maybe, I, maybe I can do this now? You know, I, I've heard from a lot of the younger generation, a lot of athletes. I've heard from people in different sports. But people in soccer, not really, you know, and which shows, you know, that there's a problem with the with the culture that people are still so afraid. Can what I read mean? an excerpt? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. What no, 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 no. Go, go. I mean, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, read an excerpt. I, this excerpt, I just have read it six times and it gives me chills. You, you write, you don't grow up hating yourself by accident. You don't learn to lie about your true nature on a whim. You don't pretend to be straight just for the fun of it. You have to learn and be taught these things, and I was a good student. Yeah. Can talk about that? Yeah, again, just being, you know, raised to think that uh, being gay was a bad thing, you know, and, and then going to soccer after going to church and uh, hearing things like, don't be so gay, or, or when I was playing in Europe, uh, in England, there was, like, discussions on how could you even, like, how could someone even be gay? And I would be in the locker room, I wouldn't be in this discussion, but they'd be like, how could you even go through the act? So that made me think, like, okay, this is impossible for me to play soccer and be myself. So, Robbie, here's the thing. You're going against the assimilation of all the things that you've taught or yeah. been taught over yeah. all these years. Uh, but amazingly, the sun still comes up yeah. the day after you won the cup, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, the sure. sports world still churns. Yeah, of course. So uh, do you think that there are going to be other soccer players? Because they do exist. They're not just landing down from yeah. Mars. Yeah. Uh, they, they've existed True. for yeah. years and years. Do you think that people yeah. are going to see this and, and see that you get to exist and live and yeah. love and prosper, and they can too. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the point of this, the book, and it was the point of me really coming back. Uh, I miss soccer, but I knew that if I went back that I could be somewhat of a symbol of the field. And again, it wasn't my intention until I realized how many people were struggling with this. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think you know, with people like Michael Sam and Jason Collins and a number of female athletes and other people, I think it will change slowly, maybe a little like the Catholic Church. All right, Robbie, thank you, thank you so, so much. much. Thank Greatly you. appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I mean, personally and also professionally.